So I want to proceed with the lenses or, or the glass material now. But before doing so, I just discovered that we're actually spending CPU power on rendering the uh, ground shadow right now. Even though it's very faint, we use some power on calculating it. So I want to go into the uh, environment tab and here all the way to the bottom, I want to uncheck the ground shadows. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. And uh, if you pay attention to the frames per second that we have, uh, so with the round shadow, we have around 30. And when we uncheck it, we have around 30, 40 ish. So yeah, it definitely gets a big, a bit quicker when we are not having the ground shadow and we don't need it right now. So let's just uh, get rid of it. So to move on with the, the glasses, I double click on the material and I am going to change um, the material type to thin film. I could go with something like the glass solid um, with a, a dark tint or something, depending on, on what I want. But for this particular rendering, I want to uh, give the, the idea that this glass has been covered with some thin film uh, to block out some UV or, or whatever. So I'm going to use the thin film material and it uh, has this nice color thing um, where the, the color changes depending on the angle you're looking at. But as you see, it's also quite heavy to render, um, but the area is, is quite small, so I think it's, it will work fine for now. The way you change uh, colors on this material is to uh, adjust the refraction index and the thickness of the, the thin film. And um, I know from experience that I want to go with some blue, bluish, greenish color. And that is around a thickness of 200. And then a refraction index around 1.7. So I want to go with something like this and to better see the color, I'm going to change this uh, blue plastic that we have right here to black. All right, cool. If you have a, have trouble like dialing in on the exact color you want here, you can also uh, add a color in the color filter, which is like overrides uh, a lot of the color information and still has a bit of variation not too much um but yeah if you don't want to use it just set it to white then i'm gonna copy the material from here to the lens parts up here so shift left click and shift right click did something happen oh yeah they already linked of course we did that in the preparation but I think here we can see too much of the interior. So actually I want to unlink this material by right clicking and going to unlink material. And then I think I will change this to glass and I'll take the refraction index down to 1.5 and make it in a dark tint like this. And then I'll copy it, shift left click, shift right click. And that's it for now. Lens is done. Let's uh, proceed with another material.